Wait, so, this one is 22 years old? Juan de Gavis. Con estos no se puede, honestamente. So the other day I was on the internet and I found this place in Torrance called Madre that sells over 300 different types of mezcal. I'm more of a rum drinker. Yo soy dominicano. Tú me da una mama Juana, un Brugal, un Barceló. I'll drink that any time of the day. I like gin and soda. It's light, you're good. I feel like if I drink mezcal, a lot of it, I'm not even gonna know that I'm in America. Julissa is a little wary about it, but you know what? Mezcal has the power to change attitudes. So we walk through the doors and the first thing that I notice is that Madre is a beautiful restaurant. I saw all of these bottles. I was like, El Diablo, y esta vaina. Hoy se bebe. <laughs> there was a portrait of La Jefa, which is the owner's mom. And just that was so stunning. It like showed you that it was full of passion of wanting people to know the culture and sharing that love. What makes this place unique? One, it's a family owned. Second, it provides more than 325 different mezcales. 325? Yo voy a salir de ahí en una ambulancia, porque yo me lo voy a tomar todita. No es que vamos a probar los 300, Gabriel. ¿Por qué no? You're not big enough to try all of that. Eso nada, yo tengo muchas células, millones de células. Si nos puede decir, ¿qué es el mezcal? Well, mezcal, uh, I will say, is the soul of Mexico. The key element to uh, differentiate mezcal from any other distillate, it will be the agave. And 90% of the agaves of the entire America are in Mexico. And the major diversity of agaves is in Oaxaca. So Oaxaca equals mezcal. Exactly. Okay. By nature. Y esa es la gran diferencia del tequila y el mezcal. Well, tequila is cocinado tipo hervido. Sí. Um, Y el mezcal se cocina, los, los agaves cocinan las piñas que le llaman una vez que las corta el gimador, uh, las cocina abajo de la tierra por cinco días con leña y piedras de río y lo cubre con el mismo desperdicio de agave, le tira una lona y le pone tierra y es como agarras el sabor uh, smoky. ¿Y cuánto por ciento de alcohol tiene los mezcales? Un buen mezcal tiene que ser de 42% a 55%. Eso, eso está bien, eso no es nada. Tú no, no sabes. Vamos, vamos. Vamos, bebé, coño. Hoy se bebe. Espadín is one of the most common agaves up in the map. So if you ever try mezcal before? most likely it's in Espadín. The other thing that you gotta look at, it's the master distiller. Um, they gotta disclose who the master distiller is. So it says uh, Romulo Sanchez Parada, and he has uh, its signature, and he has how many bottles of the Espadín he produced. Cuando veas el, el label atrás, y, if it doesn't have any of that information, you just get in a brand. You can smell the mezcal from over here. Like, I'm not even close to it. It's crazy. I'm so nervous. Ivan, gracias. Wow. Oh, this is strong. Ooh. Whoa. Yo, this is really good. Wow. <laughs> what do you, what do you taste there? I feel like my whole mm. chest is on fire. You can tell the smokiness, and afterwards, it's just like, I don't know, like some citrusy, something citrusy opened up my nose. For me, I taste these, and it doesn't kick me in the face, it hugs me. Yes. It, it's like, it's very, it's very romantic. I think that's what it is. And that's the spirit of the mezcal, it's telling mm -hmm. you, I yeah. love you. They had this, this little plate and they had like a handful of grasshoppers. They said, no, no, ay, pobrecito, hasta pena me dio. Gabriel, move that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I am not eating that. I had already had chapulines, so I was good, but I knew Gabriel was gonna be skeptical and I knew Julissa was gonna flip out. Who the hell wants to eat grasshoppers? Not me. It's algo que no puede faltar en nuestra mesa casi todos los días de los Oaxaqueños. Tú te lo comes no, cada día. Cómete uno. Puedes hacer, sí. puedes hacer un taquito a. Um... Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> ya di el prueba. No, no, muchas gracias. Es aprovechado. A mí yo yo estoy bien sin la afrodisia. Yo como plátano. Mexico, just because I love you guys and you guys love me, I'm gonna try this. Listo, uno, dos, tres. Bravo. Wow. Surprisingly, it was good. 
It was really damn good. You know, not that yeah. that one. It's not bad. <laughs> like a kid kicking and screaming, I ate it. It was actually not that bad. Lesson learned. <laughs> Try <laughs> This smells like a botanica, yo. Yeah, it's like a botanica. botanica. That's what yeah. it is. All right, vamos arriba. Okay. Wow. That one did not wow. go down hard. Absolutely. So this one, I tasted all in my palate versus the other ones that I felt here. This, this one is bien. Estamos bien. Esto está bueno, coño. ¿Qué te pasa? Esta vaina está más bueno que el diablo. <laughs> Generally, when I taste something like this, tequila or, or vodka, any of the hard liquors, you feel it and it hits you in the in the face and this this is going down so smooth. It's like water. It's sweet water from it's the sweet. from Quetzalcoatl himself. Eso es agua bendita. Uh, Real Minero. Salud. Salud. Otra vez nos fuimos para arriba. Una vaina bien. Ay Dios mío. De lo bueno, tú sabes, papá. I felt this one right at the tip of my tongue. Pepper. Out of pepper. It's spicy, yo. Minerals. That tastes chips. And the clay, the clay pie. <laughs> it's got that different flavor. Yeah, the clay, yo. Cariel is over here drunk. A little bit, I'm a little <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how y'all keep having a conversation. <laughs> we started trying the mezcales. They tasting good. After the third one, I'm feeling buzzed, yo. Bring it on, bro. And this is only one. Uh, for certain master distillers. I couldn't even keep my head up. I was playing it off. After getting a couple shots, three or four. You couldn't tell, am I right? This is just good. <laughs> this is just good. <laughs> Ooh. I, I don't know the Chihuahua. That one was very tough on me. That was delicious. Oh. You think it was strong? Yeah. What? It's I think that might have just got me drunk right now. I've been there, girl. There's this thing. There's this I've thing where I'm like, every <laughs> you have been, been drinking like it's nothing, and I've been. <laughs> so, what are you guys' uh, final thoughts? I'm gonna get a little bit deep and just say that what we had right now is art. It's history, it's pride, it's passion, and more importantly, it's love. I fell in love with mezcal. I became a big fan of mezcal. I wanna learn some more, I wanna try some more. Like, to be honest with you, I wanna take all those bottles home. All right, so I have a confession, and my confession is that I actually like mezcal. <laughs> I think going into this, right, we were all just about drinking. But I think we all learned something from this. We all learned about the beauty of our vast Latino culture. I know Gadiel and Julissa really learned something new about Oaxacan culture, about Mexican culture. And I don't know, to me, I thought that was the most beautiful thing. Porque en esta vida nunca se deja de aprender.